Pro, we've got 10. We've got about 16 or 17 batteries. Yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got a little Civic, I gotta tune in a little bit here. Um, but first, these guys have been working on trying to get this thing to pass emissions. Uh, I had the EGR deleted, was all converted to OBD1. And I had some things that were kind of just, I don't know if you'd say hacked up or just, just not right or whatever. So the boys have been messing with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the code real quick. And I'm just out here, it's kinda, Getting things caught up. It has been just wild since I got back. We have been going and going and going. Where's this chair? It's a prelude, so it could be on either side. Look, there it is. It's pretty late, it could be on either side. And here's the two wire one, too. We could jump those wires together, count the dash blinks if all else fails. But all right, let's see what this thing says. So, Goofy built Shane, just put a uh, stock ECU back in it. I got this cheesy little Actron. My snap-on one decided to snap out of it, I guess. Five codes, oh. P1607, P0132, P0113, P1259, P0450, and that's it. Whew. She's riddled with codes. And they'll write that down. One another quick ways. I mean, I just use the video camera, but I can just take pictures real fast just so I walk inside and just double check them all. And it would be actual codes because they came on right away when Shane changed the ECU. So, you know, it was fresh, you know. All right. We'll hit a race just because. Yes, please. Please race. All right, right on. Turn it off. Back on. Oh, code comes right back. Okay. Even with the clear. All right, let's go check these codes out real quick. And then uh, let's get on to the brothers' little tune-up. Should be pretty cool. They've worked really hard. Check that out. I got that coming up for you guys soon too. Whew. All right, let's get let's hand these codes off to Goofy. Hey, Goofy, what's up? Getting a new cam put in, huh? Yes, yeah. sir. This little 1.5 is gonna make some serious jam now. Yeah. You got that new big comp cam or something? Mm -hmm. Yep. Getting her all spring crackles. retainers, all of that. Ooh, springs retainers even. Yeah. We're gonna have some valve control. He came off the dyno and I was like, I gotta order in some parts. That's sick. So on that prelude, I ran through and I just wrote down the codes that it has. Okay. And those are like right on with the key. You know, I don't even have to yeah. start it to get those. So that means there's stuff that's unplugged or not even in there. So okay. awesome. we'll have to run through those and then move on with it, so. Very cool. You can do that. What do you got coming out in your new videos, man? This this hot rod? Yeah, this hot rod. We got Gordo started and hanging out. Yeah. Real cool stuff. Yeah. Very cool. You get to throw down on both of them here, soon. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty excited about that too. The Heck goofy yeah. kids are ripping, so right on. All right, let's get back on the brothers. After we get a bite of chip. There's no music in the background, I promise. <laughs> oh. 
I'd set this one up too so we can eat that one. All right, so some of you have seen, uh, all right, some, bleh. all right, so some of you have seen Austin's car on the channel, which is a little Del Sol, turbo manifold glowing, making steam, a little, <laughs> it was single, jamming, bro. Single slammer. Well, this is his brother Bradley's. Yep, Bradley's. And uh, we're gonna push it back here, get it on the roller. Uh, we gotta run through a few things. I think a map sensor. Yeah, they couldn't get the map sensor to work. And VTEC and boost control, right? So this is a completely bone stock uh, LS engine. LSV. Yep, LS, LS VTEC. So it's bone stock bottom end. Um, actually has Nippon pistons. Oh, okay. Do we got rods or no? No, stock, stock rods. rods. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything he said, but that's, that's about it. So probably mid 300s mid would be a good We've safe like bet. We've like 390 on them before, but that's kind of pushing them. Yeah, yeah, it could go either way, so. And he's trying to make the PSEA race this weekend and race with his brother and the rest of us. So it's kind of a He hasn't gotten awesome a race. Like he is no, he the hasn't. most supported brother you he can is, find. Man. He helps tow his brother's car yep. here. He wrenches on his brother's car. Yep. And he so can't... We've been bugging him to get his car here. Yeah. And I... Sorry, I talked over Jamie. Oh, you're good. But he, they are the ones that came in and they installed these lights. They got me the Honda sign, the Coke, the Conoco... <laughs> the Conoco, remember? Conoco. <laughs> but anyway, the Conoco sign. And then they got me this car wash one that we plan on still installing outside the building. One of those things we just held off on until we got everything permits done and, you know, we were able to do what we need to do. We haven't so, turned the sign on in a while. So turn yeah, on. man. Very cool. Um, anyway, that's that's the brothers. So that's they're their also, story. They're also painting on top of it. They are. They're painting the, the red top on the, the Dodge truck of Jamie's that's saved Cletus and takes us all over the world and, yeah. But anyway... We're gonna dive in. Um, I'll just bring you guys along with as we scan through, get this thing running, and uh, try to make some jam and just chill with y'all. So, all right, man, it's good work. Yeah, ketchup mustard pickle. Okay, so that in for me real quick. Yeah, let me shut this off for everybody. I'm trying to make your life easy here. What there do you go. do? I'll pull uh, the white one out so it can go that way, and the rest of this can go this way. To, to make powder. my life super easy would be pull the brown out too. Well, no, the brown I'll just ground over here. I know, but I you get the ground over there. Okay. If you go to the board here, it's less uh, less noise, less filter. Yeah. Okay. You gonna hold it straight? Just an easy little tech tip for the whole world. And then yeah, power ground will just take to the other side. Yep. That's a good way to do it, bro. Even I didn't do it that way. See, you can always teach somebody something new, no matter what. Always teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and then this looks like it just pop out. We're gonna need some tape on that eventually. Yeah, it'll launch out while we're racing it around. Yeah. With all the cool things. So that'll go that way. Anybody that's ever worked one handed with a camera? It is very difficult. I'm trying to use one finger to do all of it. Okay, cool. Oh, got the gear shifter. No, no way. Let me see the camera. There you go. Thanks, dog. Switch off. Give these ends a twist so I can make it a little easier. Good trick is to have these on a drill point right here. Spin them. Which we should just do that. Um, good luck finding a drill. I'll find it. Give me one. Second. Talking all that shit. <laughs> Woo! Got that low cash cover. Low cash racing's out of Arizona. I think we, we've been to this shop and I think we've had it on either our channel or on it's the on Booster Kyle's. Boys. Yeah, so it was on Booster Boys channel. But uh, he's always hard at work for the industry, making tons of GTR parts. And uh, yeah, you have to go check out his stuff. Really cool. All right, so this is the external Honda plug. And
with that low cash cover. Low cash racing's out of Arizona. I think we, we've been to this shop and I think we've had it on either our channel or on the Booster Boys. Yeah, so it was on Booster Boys channel. But uh, he's always hard at work for the industry, making tons of GTR parts. And uh, yeah, you have to go check out his stuff. Really cool. All right, so this is the external Honda plug and we go to this analog side and we're actually just gonna use the sensor ground for the uh, the wide band itself. And then uh, we're gonna go to D10 on this side. And that'll be all we do. And then plug in some numbers in the ECU. And, uh, and we should have a wide band. Oh yeah. And these are nice too. So we can uh, do zero to five volts in so we can have like oil pressure, fuel pressure, or we can monitor even the coolant pressures to know if we got a head gasket that's bad. Sweet. Got it coming on with the key. Off with the key. Perfect. Here's your pliers, buddy. Thank you. All right. So on these, a on these AEM X series gauges, you have, uh, you got your brown wire, which is sensor ground. And you got your white wire, which is um, basically analog out of that. So we're going to take that to D10 here and then the sensor ground right to the ground on the board itself. That helps with filtering and other stuff, so. Okay, and give me 13.2. 2.5 is 13.25. Man, I guessed that perfectly. Okay, what was the 4.35? Was the what? 4.35 volts, 4.3 volts. 4.25 is 17.41. Oh, so close. 17.25? Point 0.41. 17.4? 41, yep. Perfect. All right, to do boost controller, we got to do this plug right here. And we go to A11. So it's odds on top, evens on bottom. 10, 11. So that empty pin right there is where we need to go. So that open I had to grab a little pick tool get this thing a little push all right now it's latched well it looks like goofy just got his running showed up kind of going over some stuff cleaning some stuff up tightening some stuff up what's 76 your first year huh your first year yeah i was born in 76 Oh, man. Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome, sweet. man. This thing's Dude, gonna be awesome. Gonna... Somebody said something and they're like 15 bucks a piece or something like that. And they start off real slow and then they really fire up pretty nasty. Like, very, very, very intense, actually. But look at this shifter, man. This is so sick. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. 
That is awesome. That just makes it look so good. All right, we're finally ready. We've got a little temp in there. I kind of just built a quick base. Um, I think I've got the screen caps going. Let's just double check. Yeah. And we're ready to go. Hope you guys are all having a great day. It's been awesome here. It's been, well, you know what we've been doing, because I brought you along. All right. <laughs> What did you find? Um, it's just got the plastic from the old one and the new one still has the plastic. Oh, so there's dual plastics? Yep, so it just won't go in. Okay. No big deal. All right, that'll fix the speed sensor in one sec then and we'll get moving. Almost ready. Oh, is that why it's not clipping on there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That one. Speed sensor won't clip on there. Right. I just need a pick. Clip, clip. I got it. <laughs> clip, clip. Where's your speed? The you see? Oh, there it is. It's hanging out in the bottom. Two pounds of boost. Well, it's 2:38. Not a bad place to start. Yeah, two pounds. Um, two pounds. Oh, the throttle cable's too tight. Oh, the rubber. There it is. Yeah, we just gotta cut that off. Yeah, no, I see that now. Um, this bolt right down here on the floor fell out too. I don't, it looked like one of the turbo mounting bolts at first, but it's not. It might have just been laying in this car. Yeah. Um, let's check all the couplers. It only made two pounds, unless that's what's spring the Yeah, I mean, it might be. I have no idea what's in it.
rubber piece on the throttle cable. That's what was holding it open for him at the end. Got that all cut off for you. Thank you. Appreciate that. And we think it might just be a two pound spring in it. Yeah, probably. I put a little boost duty in it, so we'll find out in a second. Heck yeah. <laughs> To be some I high compression, huh? We bought the block from Zoli. Well, Dan's here. Go interview yeah. him right now. Dan. <laughs> oh, he's on the phone. This bottom end is Zoli's old motor. What uh, is in this? And Dan's like, which one? I built a lot. Because supposedly, what we know is it's nipping pistons and stock rods. That's not what What's your name? Austin. Oh, it to Brad. Bradley, his brother. Hey, I got a question for you. Okay. What's his last name? Bolak. Who? Bolak. Bolak. You sold a V18 V1 to Brad Bullock? Yeah. What, when did we have that? <laughs> that was the one I bought from uh, the guy that, that got it from uh, that mechanic dude from in Toyota. That's this block? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, he took that one up. So we didn't know if it was like some high compression pistons or what in it, because it's making some jam. I have no idea. I, I bought it from this guy. He he, you guys tuned that motor. He said um, his name was like Tom Tom Todd some shit. He was a master mechanic at Toyota, or he is a master mechanic. He had a little EG hatch, a black one, and that motor was in there. Huh. The one I bought from him that me and Dan people picked up. Yes. And that's the block that's called the So you guys tuned so it in the next the day. Block. It got rear-ended, so he parted it out. Oh. It made like 400 or something on that. to find out who that is. So it made 400 something then. Cool. All right. This is a stout motor. Check. Man, look at that dash. He ain't even got tack. Nope. We better set up a shift light. <laughs> you better shut up, ship. There's, There's no tag. There. <laughs> Was 7.8 pounds. Yes. I didn't change anything though. 
Well, found out why we made a little less boost that time. Just kidding. Oops. So we need to get the exhaust housing tightened up. Or not the exhaust house. We need to get the intake compressor tightened up. And uh, that should be ready to jam again. I think we're losing a little boost. All right. So the brothers are gonna go home. Are they gonna fix that turbocharger? It should be a direct swap. All right, man. Guess you guys are swapping a turbo. Yes, sir. That's a nice brother right there. Yeah, no kidding. Very one. cool. So he's got the new little jammer here. And uh, they're going to put that on the car. I thought he was going to take it home and he'll pull he's it. He's waiting on his brother, so he's like, oh, we'll just get a new turbo and put it on. That's crazy. All right, here you go. Very cool. Well, I'm stoked, man. Thank you, guys. This is going to rip. You have no idea. Well, guys, we worked on Bradley's car. We got all the little stuff buttoned up, and then we made some dyno rips, and it was going well until the turbo we saw. Uh, just I just needed some helicoil. Yeah, it had a failure on the compressor housing. He got one of our new 3582s. He got that on last. He got that on. He got that on before we left, um, but we didn't put it back on the dyno. He loaded it up. He's just going to take it to the track. We're going to finish the tune up there. So <clears throat> we will put cameras on his car, so you will get a reaction video this weekend from the PSCA race that I'm super pumped about. And I hope a lot of you guys are gonna show up and race with us and blow this thing up and make it too big that we all freak out and we don't know what to do. So <laughs> <laughs> either way, it's a lot of fun. So appreciate you guys watching. Give us a like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks a bunch. Oh, and give us some comments in the little comment thing and just make them positive and we way appreciate you guys. Thanks a bunch. Mm -hmm.